वेलकम बैक टू डॉक्टर सुचिताज इंटरेक्टिव क्लास द रीडिंग्स एंड ऑब्जर्वेशन प्रोवाइडेड इन दिस ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिकल डेमोस्ट्रेशन आर नॉट आइडियल वन दे आर गिवन अंडर द कंडीशन ऑफ कोविड नाइन्टीन सिचुएशन दे मे शो चेंज वेन यूल परफॉर्म एक्चुअल प्रैक्टिकल इन अर लैब ड्यू टू केमिकल एरर पर्सनल एरर इंस्ट्रूमेंटल एरर और टेम्परेचर कंडीशन दे मे शो वेरिएशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन ऑफ द ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन विद एनिमेशन टू डिटरमाइन द मॉलिकुलर वेट ऑफ अ हाई पॉलीमर बाय विस्कॉसिटी मेजरमेंट polymer is an large molecule which is composed of simple units called as repeating units called as monomer these monomers attach may be in a linear or branched network here i try to show you a linear polymeric structure this we can call it as a monomer and repetitive unit of it hold together through the van der waals forces or hydrogen bonds we can form a polymer now one of the property which we are going to measure over here is then viscosity that is resistance to flow of a liquid or coefficient of viscosity when the which uh, will measure the force per unit area between the two layers which are 1 cm apart from each other at a given temperature so viscosity has a direct impact on temperature it is measured in a unit points that is the cgs unit so viscosity determination will be useful with respect to molecular weight determination of a high polymer and uh, physics scientist that is poisley's equation tells which relates the viscosity if i am passing a liquid through the capillary the radius of the capillary the velocity with which it is passing the pressure temperature and the volume of liquid all these factors contribute towards the viscosity measurement they are related and given in this equation where n is the this is coefficient of viscosity p is the pressure at the ends of the tube which is maintained uniform for the rate of flow r is the radius of the capillary tube t is the temperature uh, t is the time in seconds to uh, required to flow time measured in seconds while liquid is moving through this capillary and v is the volume taken or flowing through this capillary tube at time t seconds so for two liquids of same volume and same viscometer if you compare we'll have this equation and the ratio of this equation gives me that there is a variation with respect to pressure and temperature when i am comparing two liquids under similar condition we can write this equation in terms of d1 upon t1 up divided by d2 upon t2 as pressure has a direct impact or it is directly proportional to the density of a liquid now here in today's experiment we are comparing the viscosity of pure solvent and a solution of polymer prepared in the same solvent to find out the molecular weight so this is the expression we are going to use where this is then viscosity of a uh, polymer this is then viscosity of a pure solvent the we are going to compare this with respect to concentration of a solution which is given uh, which contributes to the geometry of the molecule in terms of alpha k is an constant given for a particular polymer in a solvent particular solvent at a temperature so ultimately we are going to relate the specific viscosity with respect to concentration uh, the k m raised to alpha value we are going to relate this we are going to have a plot of nsp upon c versus concentration of solution in second plot we can have 2.303 upon c log n upon n0 that is the Uh, viscosity of pure solvent with respect to uh, high polymer versus concentration of solution here for some of the polymers with their solvent and temperature condition considering the solvent and temperature condition i have provided few values of k and alpha now we are going to utilize the oswald's viscometer i have tried to show oh, show over here it is a glass assembly we have to clamp this in a vertical position and we have to keep this in a thermostat or in a beaker containing water so that we will measure the viscosity under constant temperature we are going to measure the time of flow we are going to pour the solution from this uh, particular clamp side that is 20 ml of the solvent we are going to utilize a rubber bulb we are going to apply a pressure and this liquid will move from this part up till here and the time of flow between these two markings x and y we are going to measure this time of flow in terms of seconds we are going to take three readings and ratio of that mean of that we are going to utilize for our 
calculation so before moving to actual measurement of time of flow we need to prepare the solution stock solution of unknown polymer has been provided to you 0.5% and you need to provide pro prepare further solution of 0.4% 0.3% 0.2% and 0.1% so the theoretical calculation of these preparation of solution you just do it in a, your notebook confirm those calculations are correct and then prepare these solutions keep your assembly ready and you can measure the time of flow by keeping all these things ready distilled water acetone hair dryer you need to utilize this dryer so that this part which of our interest should get clean and dried while measurement of time of flow and all these percent solutions of polymer now we have to take care that you are rinsing the viscometer cleaning the viscometer with acetone and organic solvent highly volatile so you'll rinse the viscometer tilt it dry it with hair dryer and then determine the time of flow of water pass the water from this side take a uh, call that you are not feeling much amount you are feeling only 20 ml and not moving above this level capillary level so that we will carry out further experiment with the help of pumping uh, this rubber bulb we are going to pump the air through this rubber bulb as the air will move inside the liquid will transfer from this level it will move ahead and it will go up to this mark so when we are pumping the air liquid will move ahead and it will uh, move up to the top you have to utilize your finger to hold the liquid level at the top keep your uh, watch clock ready and then when liquid is coming up to this x mark okay hold that liquid up to that particular mark then release the pressure by removing the finger keep your uh, watch uh, uh, watch clock ready and measure the time of flow from x to y yes this is your time of flow for water remove the water from the viscometer rinse with acetone and dry with hair dryer you have to repeat this procedure after every utilization of solution through the viscositor after every measurement of time of flow now take your 0.1% solution will move from 0.1% to lower to higher concentration fill it on this particular side look at the water level utilize the rubber bulb to pump air and measure the time of flow for 0.1 percent solution yes it is 52 it is increasing as you have utilized polymeric solution it is increasing as the density of the solution increases the time of flow you will observe that it has been increased look at 0.2 percent yes it is 57 what do you expect 4.3 percent it will increase or decrease it will definitely increase yes and for 0.4 percent again this is for 0.25 percent yes report all the readings in this observation table which we have prepared percent concentration of polymer time in seconds take the ratio of solvent with respect to each of the solution complete these further tables utilize the data from the table nsp upon c versus concentration of polymer and plot a graph of nsp upon c versus percentage of polymer intersect when i extrapolate this straight line it will intersect on y axis this intersect i'll utilize as an intrinsic viscosity to find out the molecular weight similarly i can plot 2.303 upon c log to the base 10 and upon n0 this particular value with respect to concentration of a polymer and intersect value will again provide me molecular weight so here when i am doing the calculation by using this particular formula i need to ask for k and alpha value for the given polymer considering here the given polymer at polyvinyl alcohol i will be providing you the value of k and alpha you just substitute all the values and find out the molecular weight of a 
given polymer tabulate your results in table molecular weight of polymer from graph 1 and graph 2 this is a small assignment for you hope this knowledge I have shared with you will definitely uh, uh, boost uh, the answers which are being asked in this particular assignment all the best.